Welcome back. Prince Andrew was a no-show at one of the most colourful events in the royal calendar. The Duke of York was expected to attend the Order of the Garter. But Prince William reportedly gave the Queen and Prince Charles an ultimatum, saying, and I quote, it's him or me. For more, let's bring in Royal Editor at the Daily Mirror, Russell Myers in London. Good morning to you, Russ. What do we know about this, this ultimatum? Well, good morning, Sylvia. Morning, David. Well, I mean, it is an ultimatum. It's never a dull moment in royal land, is it? But uh, when it's to, to, to do with the Duke of York, him putting his head above the parapet, wanting once again to be front and centre of royal events, can you believe? Mm. Now, this Royal of the Guards of Service, it looks a bit weird. It looks a bit wonderful. All the royals dressing up in sort of big funny hats and velvet mm. cloaks. But it actually goes back hundreds of years. And it's all to do with the Order of the Chivalry. It's to do with sort of Knights of the Garter. And Prince Andrew is essentially still one of those knights. And he wanted to be at this big royal event, even though he's been forced to step away from these big uh, frontline royal duties, because uh, he still believes he is a blood prince. He still wants to be at these events. However, uh, when he was sort of made to step back from his royal duties in disgrace because of those sexual assault allegations against him, that he settled for a huge amount of money. He was told that he had to, uh, to step back. But the Queen said he could attend this. Then he was asked to attend in a private capacity. And it seems as though William and Charles got together and said, this and the public are going to be absolutely outraged if they see him with the rest of the royal family. So essentially came together with the Queen and, uh, and it was ordered that he wouldn't take part in the ceremony. Mm. So again, another huge raft of headlines. I mean, it seems for all and sundry here, we can all see the writing of the wall for, uh, for Prince Andrew. He's just not going to be able to come back without any sort of scandal at all. Yet he keeps trying every door of Buckingham Palace trying to get in. Will he be banned from all events moving forward now, Russ? Well, he, he has been banned in the first place. I mean, this is the, the, the second or third time we're talking about mm. this. We had him walking his mother up the aisle at Westminster Abbey for, the, mm. for Prince Philip's memorial. Now we're talking about this. I mean, how many more times is he going to put his, uh, himself front and centre? I mean, it's, uh, it's causing an almighty row both inside and outside the palace because people are a bit sick and tired of it, I think. And, uh, you know, people will just want him to sort of fade a, into the background, as it were. Well, it's overshadowing what should be a very happy year, a very happy time for the Queen as well. In other royal news, Russell, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are set to move. What's behind this decision? Well, they are, and this has been rumoured for, you know, about a year or two, but it actually seems as though the wheels are in motion now. And this summer, they will be moving to the quite aptly named Adelaide Cottage. Now, it's just down the road from the Queen's Windsor Castle abode. Uh, I mean, Prince Andrew has been her, her most frequent visitor, so maybe they are uh, moving just to Windsor to make sure that they can see a bit more of the Queen. But it's all about keeping the kids in the same schools. Their family wanted to get out of London. They will st still keep Kensington Palace as their London base. So, you know, a little bit of shifting for the Cambridge family, but uh, as we saw at those Platinum Jubilee celebrations, they are the future and they're the ones who, uh, who, who are going to, we're going to be seeing quite a lot more of the family, I think. And they are certainly putting their foot down yeah. within the family too. Russ, we're going to leave it there. Good to see you. Thanks, Russell.